I love it, it's so much darker. And we can then go a little bit more. And this is really gonna deepen it even more. I'm back with another beauty video. I'm Nina Ubi and I'm a professional makeup artist. Today I'm gonna to share with you the top and only three lipsticks you are ever gonna need. I'm gonna be showing you what you can do with those lipsticks together as well. So it's not just about sharing my top three, it's about showing you how you can utilize all of them to create so many different looks with them. Now, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Don't forget I am over on Instagram too. If you like reels, unboxing, behind the scenes, then you might wanna follow me there too. Now let's head straight into the video. I was going through my lipsticks the other day and I had so many and I was like, oh my God, this gets so confusing. There are just so many different shades and I'm opening them up to check which, what it's like, you know, because you don't always know just by the name of the lipstick, like the shade name. Like I don't look at it and think, oh, this is Vixen. So I know what color this is. Like sometimes it gives you a bit of indication, but sometimes it, they're just random names and you're like, I don't even know what this is. Now I have to open every single one and check which one I want. So I felt that that was a bit annoying and I was like, God, I just want to keep like the odd couple of colors out here that I feel that I can use and mix and kind of create different shades with. So I thought, why not put together a video for you guys where I'm actually going through some of the lipsticks that I feel are all you need. So I've picked three lipsticks and I've been kind of messing around with them for a little while. And it's not something that I've just picked up today. Like I have been using them for quite a while. And I do feel like I always keep going to them. So I kind of went through all of my lipsticks and thought, okay, let me just not get rid of them, but kind of put them in this drawer and keep the ones that I always seem to be going to and see what I can do with that. So I have decided to share with you the only three lipsticks that you're ever gonna need. And I'm gonna be showing you how you can mix them to create different shades too. Now, first off, what we're going to do is just make sure the lips are kind of lined I actually don't have any do I have lipstick on no I have the I'm actually not sure so I'm just going to take it off I think I've just got lip liner on but anyway we're going to take this off there you go that's off we're going to line the lips There you go, now I can just put some lipstick on. Okay, now the three lipsticks that I've picked because I seem to go to them quite a lot are in order of kind of shade, starting from lightest to kind of darkest, is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Liquid Lipstick High Shine in Barely Nude 2. That's the first one. The second one is my Fenty Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the MVP. And then lastly, it is the Fenty Sun Stunner Lip Paint in Unveil. Now, I'm gonna be showing you all three of these and on their own, and also how I kind of like slowly build it up. Now, first off, we're gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown, and this is kind of like a very light nudish color. I'm gonna apply this on my lips. Now you don't need too much of this, so I'm just applying a little bit. Just gonna get my lip brush, this is my Charlotte Tilbury lip brush, and just kind of like smooth this over. Now, if you don't wanna get these exact lipsticks, you could get very similar colors, and that would be the only three that you need. So that's that lipstick on its own. So it's quite a kind of like very nudish color on me. Now, first off, I'm gonna show you how you can actually make this a little bit more nudish. So we're gonna get the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint. So our lipstick, this whole look is gonna keep transitioning. There are gonna be so many different shades of lip color that you're gonna see. And I'm gonna get this Stunner Lip Paint and I'm gonna apply just a little bit there, there, See those four marker points that we've made? Now what I'm gonna do is just kind of like spread it inwards, but from the lip line. And you can like keep applying however much you feel you need. 
Now we have more of that kind of darker perimeter of the lip and it's nudish as it goes in. Right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a little bit of this red and that's gonna change the lip color again. So I'm gonna apply just the smallest amount to my lip brush. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of it, not a lot. And now we're gonna turn this almost like into a pinkish kind of lip. So we're just gonna go all over. See, now it's more pinkish. This is another shade. And now what I'm gonna do is go back into that nude, grab a little bit of that color on the lip brush. And this is gonna make it a little bit lighter. Like you can keep kind of adjusting it accordingly. Like if you feel like, okay, it's a bit too pink, I wanna make it lighter. Just go in with the lighter shade and that's gonna lighten it up. See, that's another color now. Like honestly, there are so many different shades that you can get from all three lipsticks. Now we are gonna make it full on red so you can see what this looks like too. I really do love this lipstick. This is like, the most comfortable lipstick ever. I'm kind of lining my lips with this from afar. The mirror is pretty far, so you'll have to forgive me if I get it a little bit wonky. How stunning is this color? And this is that Fenty liquid lipstick in all of its glory. I absolutely love this lip color. It's probably my favorite red at the moment. I just feel like it's brightening. It's not like too bright, but it's just the perfect shade for my skin tone. So that is what that color looks like. And then obviously you can now make it darker with the Stunner lip paint. So I'm gonna go into this brown with my lip brush again. And just go on the corners you can apply a decent amount and this is just going to change the shade to a deeper red see how all of a sudden it's just so much darker And the great thing is you can only apply it to the perimeter if you want that kind of like almost ombre lip or you can apply it all over for a solid color. There, I love it, it's so much darker. And we can then go a little bit more. And this is really gonna deepen it even more. There you go, it's so much darker. It's like very kind of vamp now. So do you see what I mean? There are so many different things that you can do with all three of these different color lipsticks. And when you kind of like start mixing them together, you can create your own kind of shade. So I feel like ultimately these are honestly the only kind of shades of lipsticks that you will ever need because you can create almost any kind of color with it. And even if say for example, you stuck with these three lipsticks and maybe you want to kind of give it more of a peachy tone, apply less of the red and maybe use one of your blush shades and just pat it on like a nice deep orange or like a, a lighter color orange for more of a kind of natural look. And obviously then you can also kind of wear the dark brown on its own as well if you want to, if you wanna go for a really nice rich brown. You don't have to have these lipsticks as liquid lipsticks. So maybe you've already got these kind of similar shades but in a normal lip lipstick form. That's absolutely fine too. The only reason I prefer using liquid lipsticks is because I feel like it's more liquidy so it's easy to kind of mix in with other shades. You don't get that kind of bitty texture to it. It's pretty fluid so it's much easier to kind of just generally blend together with another shade that you're using which is also liquid. So yeah, you can kind of like pick whatever brands you want 
one, but these products are all going to be listed in my description box below. So all you need to do is like head over there, click on the link and it'll take you straight to it. Also, don't forget that I do have my vlog channel. Please do head over there and hit the subscribe button because I would love to see you there. It's random stuff. It's vlogs. It's like very motivational life in general. What I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube, you'll see more of my husband. You'll see our chats, which are very random and very bizarre, but you know, you get to see a bit more of like what I'm like when I'm not filming for YouTube. So I really do hope you head over there and show your support because I'd really love to see you there too. I've only just recently started that channel so there are lots of videos on there for you to catch up with and you also get to come away on holidays with me and just behind the scenes. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you over there more of you guys over there. So wherever you are in the world, I'm, I'm like sending you so much love and so many like positive vibes and I really do hope this video has helped you. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'm going to see you soon.